the lessons. And I'm just here to give you a quick little tour of StreamYard. I recently had to find a new platform to host my live videos and my online classes. And I'm trying out StreamYard and I'm really liking the features so far. So one of the things that I like about it is it's super easy to use. So all I needed to do was install it uh, to my Chrome browser and everything is running through Chrome. And uh, it's got some great features. So I see one of my most com my recent commenters on my YouTube videos, I can't pronounce the first name, but I'm gonna say Nomon goat is here and I'm going to say hi to you. Um, but I just want to give a quick little overview of how this stream system works. So it streams to YouTube and it either streams live or you can save it to um, uh, an unlisted video so students can watch things back later. You can create a webinar out of it and it's uh, it's really it seems really uh, user friendly. And uh, I see some comments here coming through and that's one of the great things about this platform. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a look at the uh, at the back side of this because I, I see some comments coming in on the side here. So if you will just have a quick peek at a screen share, let's see what happens if I click over this way. Um, and I'm getting more and more comments. This is great. Um, so I've got Diraj from India sending love and D Sedeng from Indonesia also sending love and uh, Pariel from also India. So I'm catching lots of people from India right now. So here is a screen share of what looks like on the back side of this. And uh, what I can do is I can post up these comments directly onto the bottom of the screen. So uh, you can see them all over here because I'm seeing them pretty much in real time, um, but I could also just post this one. So you can see the users, um, I'm gonna full screen this. You can see the user's um, avatar and also the comment that they have posted. So that's one of the great features of this um, of this app. And I can also add more users to the call. So for example, I'm just gonna add myself to this call. Now, if you'll notice down in the bottom section here, we're soon going to see um, another user popping up down here. You can see a new box has opened and oh, we've got Strasbourg, France. Bonjour, bonjour, merci beaucoup. And I can add this viewer to the stream. It's called, it's called, this platform is called StreamYard. And I'm gonna post a link. I can even do that right here um, in the video description. Um, or also, yeah, check the video description. I think I might've posted a link there. And so, yes, I'll post the answer here. Stream yard, C description. Oh, I can't spell, D-E-S. Um, okay, so now I can even post that question right here. So we see a picture of the user and also the question that they ask. If the user doesn't have a picture, it just shows a blank avatar. And I'm just getting used to using it. So I thought I'd go live and give it a try. I know that I don't usually do live streams on YouTube very often, but I am starting a new online class that's starting in September. And it's gonna be using a combination of uh, online classes or online real-time live streams uh, where you can actually participate. So for example, let's just flip this over um, where I can show multiple users. So this is a second camera in my home. And hopefully um, it's been muted. Let's see. I'm gonna mute the video, the audio on that person, just so we don't have too much. Here's my microphone from below. Um, and all right. So basically, this is Stream Yard, and I'm gonna be using it as an alternative to Google Hangouts on Air. As you can see, it can host multiple um, users at the same time. You can do screen shares. You can do these great things where um, you can post up the comments that you're receiving in real time, which I think users and viewers are going to love. Um, I love that it's super easy. I don't really like to mess with OBS and all kinds of other streaming software. And this one all happens right in my browser. And um, I see a comment here from Hectanuga1. She has a really great channel where she does lots of uh, crochet and other kinds of tutorials. So we'll say hello to her. 
and I'll hide that. And so you can also change other things about the about the platform. So it's pretty customizable. So let's just do the screen share here again. And I'll show you over here, we're looking at comments. We can also add banners. Um, so I could put a banner here that shows that I can pop up your comment. Um, it also lets you do branding and you can also have private chat with the people who are in your stream. So I'm back here and then uh, you can see the whole thing. So now I'm going to remove that from the full screen and I'm gonna take myself back to uh, full screen and you can see that and uh, you can pop it up. So I see a comment here from this person. I would pay anything to get an advanced piano series. Well, good news. I'm going to be starting year two really soon. And in year two, we're going to be having, um, we're going to be following the Royal Conservatory grade one and grade two series uh, curriculum. So you can watch that um, and follow along or you can join an online class. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome too, Laverne. It's a nice system, it works pretty well. I'm getting lots of feedback here on my screen. I can see all the comments as they come in in real time. I can manage them, no problem, just from my one browser window. And um, I can see how many people are viewing. And uh, yeah, so this is the great new, uh, great new feature that I'm gonna be using for my online classes and any live streams that I'll be doing in the near future. And uh, I love seeing you guys pop in for the comments and I hope to see you really soon uh, at pianovideolessons.com. Oh, and let me just give you a quick tour of my new website. So if I share my screen again here, uh, I think that's it. And I'll turn off the comment and I'll just show you this way. We've got um, my new, my website has been redesigned. So I hope you like the look. There's lots of great features on it here. It makes it easier for new users to figure out how to subscribe. There's a little welcome video where I give you a tour of the website and then you can get right into it, selecting uh, which level you want to use. And as always, you can get the links to the videos here in the uh, drop down menus. You can find the eBooks all through here and you can find out more information about online classes. Um, you can log in and then there's some other resources like printables or some articles that I've posted in my blog. If you're not sure where to start, you can check the about tab and just uh, click on in there to find out, you know, where you should start, whether you're a brand new beginner or whether you've got some more experience. So as I was saying, we're going to be having some new content coming soon. We're going to be having year two uh, up in the next month. I think it'll be ready by the beginning of September. I've got the book ready and I just have to create the videos. So that uh, will be happening pretty soon. But this was just a test run for me to try out um, StreamYard because I needed an alternative to Google Hangouts on air. And this one's working great. We're seeing great um, user connection and we'll be able to add new users and people are looking for piano chord tips. And so I'll be giving you lots of new videos soon. Um, and thank you so much for, uh, for sharing your time with me today. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.